بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اکاؤنٹنگ اینٹریز آف فارن ایکسچینج ریٹ گین اور لاس ایٹ دا ٹائم آف ایکسپورٹ وی ول گو تھرو اسٹیپ بائی اسٹیپ اینڈ وی آر لوکنگ فارورڈ یور فل فوکس ٹو واچ دا کمپلیٹ ویڈیو فار بیٹر انڈرسٹینڈنگ لیٹس ہیڈ اوور ٹو دا ڈیفینیشن فارن ایکسچینج فلکچویشن از اے ڈفرینس بٹوین rate of currency at the time of sale or export and at the rate of currency at the time of payment receipt. The rate of currency fluctuates daily. It causes loss or gain while export or import. Types of foreign exchange accounting entries. We will discuss here sale and receipt within same financial year and We will discuss also sale in one financial year and payment receipt in next financial year. How to compute foreign exchange loss or gain? Currency rate as on sale less currency rate as on payment receipt is equal to if the difference is negative then it is treated as loss if the difference is positive it is treated as gain we will create a sales and the payment receipt we will make payment receipt minus the sales so we need to watch out the difference if negative loss if positive it will be a gain let's head over to the example sold goods on 30 days credit terms to abc company on 15 october 2020 The sales $200 at the rate of 3.75 is equal to $750. And we receive the payment on 15th November 2020, $200 at the rate of 3.8. We receive $760. So $760 minus $750 is equal to $10. a positive value is our gain which is 10 let's move ahead we we are going to make the journal entries on sales and receipt within same financial year abc company sells goods to hilton company for 500 dollar on 1st october 2020 and the payment terms are net after 30 days exchange rate while making sales on dated 1st October 2020 $1 is equal to 3.75 we need to create a journal entry as we have departed our goods to Hilton company and they received our goods and a sales invoice created and we need to record that sales invoice by Hilton company account receivable it is our current assets debit with $500 multiply by exchange rate 3.75 is equal to 1875 and we are going to credit sales export income account as the same amount the next one exchange rate while receipt of payment on dated 31st october 2020 after one month the rate has been changed to 3.8 from 3.75 to 3.8 the journal entry we will pass while we receive the payment bank account as a current asset debit we receive the payment in our bank account 1900 500 dollars multiply by the rate 3.8 is equal to 1900 and we will credit the hilton company account receivable current asset credit by 1900 let's check is it gain or loss 1900 minus 1875 is equal to 25 positive so it is positive as we have sold goods at 3.75 exchange rate and received payment with the higher exchange rate of 3.8 how we can make a general entry for the exchange rate gain we are going to debit hilton company account receivable current account with 500 dollar multiply by 3.8 
minus 3.75 exchange rate is equal to 0 0.05 which is positive figure. We will multiply 500 by 0 0.05 is equal to 25. We will credit foreign exchange gain as an income account credit by 25. Let's make a one entry alternate combined general entry to close foreign exchange rate gain when we had received the payment in our bank account directly from our customer. So the general entry will be bank account current asset debit with 1900 $500 multiplied by 3.8 rate and Hilton company current account as an account receivable credit with $500 by 3.75 $1875 this is the sales value which we credited earlier when we departed our goods to the Hilton company and we are going to credit in the same journal entry foreign exchange gain as income account credit 500 multiplied by 3.8 minus 3.75 is equal to 0 0.05 rate is equal to 25 so debit side 1900 and the credit side also 1900 both are equal if you are going to pass this entry so make sure you are not going to pass this entry further let's head over to the other one sale in one financial year and receipt in next financial year what are the general entries we need to pass ABC company sells goods to Hilton company for $500 on 1st October and payment terms are net after 90 days after three months it means the October November and December so the payment is going to be due in January 2021 so exchange rate while making sale on 1st October it is $3.751 the general entry will be the same as we discussed earlier Hilton company account receivable debit as a current asset 500 multiplied 3.75 is equal to 1875 and credit sales export income with the same value exchange rate at 31st December 2020 to close the financial year we need to pass an additional entry when our financial year is going to close so we check the market the market value of one dollar is equal to 3.8 which is higher than 3.75 when we made the sale so what is the journal entry we need to make Hilton company account receivable current asset is equal to five hundred dollar multiply by we need to 3.8 minus 3.75 is equal to 0 0.05 this is the gain we need to multiply it by this gain rate with the $500 uh, sales value which is 25 and we are going to credit the foreign exchange gain as an income account credit with the same value of 25 now next exchange rate will receipt of payment on 31st January 2021 we received the payment from our client the dollar value has increased to 3.9 let's see what journal entry we need to pass here we are going to make a combined journal entry here bank account which is current asset is debit with $500 multiplied by 3.9 rate which is the current rate we receive this payment 1950 in our bank account we will do the credit Hilton company account receivable current asset credit with 500 multiplied by 3.8 you can see the last closing rate with the financial year it was 3.8 which is 1900 because if you calculate we the first entry we make we make debit 1875 to Hilton company and after that we make again debit 25 to Hilton company so the aggregate of 1875 and 25 is 1900 
so we are going to make it credit so the Hilton company account will be zero now the third account we are going to credit is foreign exchange gain income account credit how we need to calculate it $500 multiply by 3.9 minus 3.8 the last exchange rate we had when we closed the financial year is 3.8 is equal to 0 0.10 we got the gain now 0 0.10 rate so 500 multiplied by 0 0.10 is 50 so now you can check the debit balance is 1950 and the credit balance 1950 here now let's talk about journal entries in case of loss on foreign exchange rate exchange rate while making sale on dated 1st October 2020 the rate is 3.75 this is the same as we are discussing from the beginning so the journal entry Hilton company account receivable debit with this amount with this exchange rate and sales export income account credit with the same rate we are going to make debit to this company and exchange rate while receipt of payment when they transfer us the payment in our bank account the exchange rate decreases to 3.6 so the journal entry we need to make for this is bank account debit with 1800 500 dollar multiplied by 3.6 this is the rate of receipt and we are going to make credit to Hilton company account receivable current account credit with 1800 with the rate of 3.6 and let's check is it gain or loss 1800 minus 1875 is equal to minus 75 so minus 75 is a loss so it's it is negative as we have sold goods at the rate of 3.75 exchange rate and receive payment with the lower exchange rate of 3.6 let's head over to the loss entry journal entry what is the journal entry will be foreign exchange loss expense account in profit and loss so 500 multiply by 3.75 minus 3.6 is equal to 0 0.15 so 75 is our expense and we are going to credit this to Hilton company account receivable and current assets 75 so their account will close after making this entry now let's we will make alternate combined general entry to close foreign exchange rate loss if we don't want to make this extra work so we can make a combined general entry to close the foreign exchange rate loss what is the general entry bank account debit when we receive the payment with 3.6 rate which is 1800 and foreign exchange loss expense we will make debit because this is an expense is always debit so 500 multiplied by 3.75 minus 3.6 is equal to 0 0.15 is equal to 75 so 1875 and we are going to credit Hilton company account receivable current account 500 multiplied by 3.75 is equal to 1875 this is the value of the sales which we made earlier and made debit to Hilton company so when we are making credit this amount their account will be zero this is what we have for today I hope you like our today's video please make sure to subscribe our channel because it keeps us motivated to create more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye